In this video, we'll be discussing a luggage system for carrying aboard technical diving equipment. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips, techniques, and trips video. Since our Egypt 2021 trip is still fresh in my mind, uh, I've decided to make a luggage lessons learned video uh, based on this trip, which can also apply to any future technical diving trips. Here is the problem statement. In general, check luggage is not guaranteed to arrive at your diving destination. And the more connections and the further away your diving location is, the greater the chance that you will arrive without some luggage. And in addition to this, technical diving gear in particular, can be difficult or impossible to replace on location. And again, the more remote the location, the more difficult it will become to replace technical diving gear. There are some general carry-on luggage size limitations. These are, you are generally allowed only one personal item of size 18 by 14 by eight inches, and you are generally only allowed one carry-on item of size 22 by 14 by nine inches. The general approach is to first carry on board uh, as much as your gear as possible. Then number two, use a personal item sized spinner, uh, and you're gonna be using this as a wheeled luggage rack. And then number three, use a carry-on size backpack, which has a low profile. So when you're waiting in line, it does not appear as though you have a large piece of luggage. The personal item size spinner has four wheels on the bottom of the case and uh, is used to easily wheel uh, your luggage through the airport and down the aisle of the aircraft. The backpack is generally used to hold the larger, more bulky items and sits on top of the spinner luggage for transport through the airport. In this case, I've illustrated the back plate and wing uh, duffel bag system described in another one of our channel's videos. We generally use the personal item spinner to hold the uh, heavier items uh, and in this case, we have uh, the long hose and necklace regulators, uh, the deco oxygen and travel gas regulators, uh, the computer case, and also a mask. Here is an image of the items that are going to be carried in the personal item size spinner. Here are the same items packed inside the personal item size spinner. Uh, there is a little bit of space left over in the center uh, of the hoses. In the carry-on backpack, we're going to have uh, mostly lighter items. Uh, these include the plate, uh, the wing, and the harness, fins, boots, a spare mask, a wetsuit, and various accessories. Here's an image of those items prior to packing in the backpack. And here's an image of those items packed in the backpack prior to being zipped closed. The travel mode configuration of the system is used for covering long distances in the airport. Because all of the luggage is on top of the personal item size spinner, it is very easy to transport all of the luggage through the airport. In the boarding mode, the gate agent cannot see the carry-on sized backpack and can only see the personal sized spinner luggage. Even though you are within airline guidelines with one carry-on and one personal sized item, you are less likely to be stopped by the gate agent. Because the spinner luggage can be pushed sideways, it is very easy to push down the aircraft aisle.
as always, please use these tips and tricks at your own risk. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.